hey welcome back into today's video we talk about a lot of evil people on this channel but this man here shu skihui is one of the most demented men i've ever talked about now what led me to this video was the cat blender video now if you've been paying attention to anything on the internet in the past few days there's been a large amount of people talking about this viral video where it it, it sounds exactly what it sounds like it, it was a guy that put a cat in a blender this video is not for the faint of heart we are going to be talking about some really difficult things to stomach but it's a very important topic and awareness needs to be brought to it i found a connection to an underground cult-like group in china that finds and steals cats to hurt and they end the life of these cats in very painful and twisted ways. If you're unfamiliar with this terrible situation, it involved a cat and a Chinese blogger named Shu Skihui. So a video started circulating around Twitter about last week-ish, and there's no easy way to say this, but the video was... Um, it was of a, a man who put a cat in a blender. It's one of the most disgusting things that I've ever seen. But there's more to say than just that. Apparently there's an underground cult-like group whose main purpose is to steal and hurt cats in the most painful ways imaginable. It's alleged one of the main core members of this group is Shu Skihui, who himself videoed some really bad things that he was doing to a cat and uploaded it to the internet in a group for sale. That's right, this twisted person and others involved in this are recording this type of content for money. Worse yet, and this makes me sick to my stomach, there's actually people willing to pay for this type of content. And I think we've seen in some of my past videos specifically to do with animals, the types of things that some human beings are willing to pay for to see is absolutely disgusting. A Chinese news station in an article wrote down the details of what Xu actually did in this video. Obviously, I'm not gonna be showing that video. I have seen some of this video this is what the article says. I do want to point out that I've had these articles translated and a lot of pictures that I'm going to be showing in this video will be translated. So if some of the English seems broken, I want you to know that's why. A netizen posted a report claiming that a well-known food blogger, Shu Skihui, net named Jack Spicy, we'll get to that in just a minute. According to the post, Shu took a video of a cat he hurt and uploaded it to the internet for sale. The post shows Shu pulling out the nails of the cat puncturing the wounds with an iron prick, burned it, dragged it, trampled it, tied it to a tree, dismembered it, and hurt it for over an hour. He also claimed that he had captured a large number of stray cats for a long time. And read your screen there. And shot videos of the kings and uploaded them to the internet to show off and sell them. Jesus Christ, man. Now, he was 100% identified in several ways, and I have these screenshots, so I want to solidify uh, the evidence here for you guys because I know there's a lot of misinformation going around right now. So Shu's handle in this group is Liu Huan. And how this was even discovered is he was posting pictures and videos of um, a particular cat that, would look, that was, had cow-like patterns in this group. And when he was arrested subsequently these videos were discovered on his phone so it wasn't hard to put two and two together uh, paired with his apology where he admitted to doing this so here you can be seen saying it's not illegal to hurt cats jesus christ doesn't care so in the group he posts the video and this is the video that the authorities found on his phone here more videos and him saying he's stocking up and not just what he says, but I want you to pay attention to what some of the other people in this group are saying. One saying, cat addiction is coming again. I took a slingshot and fired two quick headshots. I'm so sad. Again, posting the video. Here he even shows the trap that he catches the cats in. So he's actually going around town. He's setting up traps to catch cats. Some of them are people's pets. 
one person saying definitely did something bad to which he says cool i really envy you can live by yourself take your time and i think this is really telling because he's actually married and has a wife and a child and he's sitting here saying he envies people who can live by themselves one person saying and admitting to uh, killing stray cats uh, with poison so one of these people it was revealed that they were a third year junior high school girl and that they'd been uh, catching stray cats and ending the life of those cats through various methods including hangers i don't know what i don't know what the hell now it was really difficult to find a connection between the cat blender video and this person i still don't know if it was shu that actually did the cat blender video but for sure it was people that had to do with the group that he was alleged to be the ringleader of another thing to point out is there is over 1000 members in this twisted group and they're giving each other advice about how to take the lives of cats in various ways it says here jack spicy was caught and that's also important to note and we're going to get into this uh, as we break down this uh situation jack spicy or jack leisho was shoes online alias he was actually and you're not going to believe this he was a very popular food influencer online so this is their reaction when he got arrested they said declare war on funan police now, a couple things I want to make clear in this video is who this person is, the things that he said about this situation, and what, if anything, the law has done or can do about it. One of his socials here, let's translate to English. This is his Weibo, and he's got over 20,000 fans, and Weibo is the Chinese version of Twitter. He goes by the name Jack Spicy. He also has 63,000 followers on a Doijin account, which is the Chinese uh, answer to TikTok. And his biggest count here is on uh, Billy Billy. Let's go ahead and translate. He had over 400,000 followers, but now he's uh, closer to 360,000 followers. And his, it says a little message above that the account is in the process of being banned, as you can see here. Now I'm about to take this video to a whole nother gross dynamic. I, you wouldn't think it'd be possible, but you're not going to believe this. So he's a well-known food blogger. And some of the tools and utensils that he uses while he's eating, it was discovered that in the content where he's hurting animals, he's using this same utensils here's some pliers that he uses from one of his videos the same pliers used to hurt an animal using the pliers for food a fork that he's using to eat with the same one seen hurting a cat in a cage here's a video from his billy billy account where he's standing in the field that was seen in the same video where he's hurting and ending the lives of cats so this person displayed himself as an honorable person but behind the scenes he was one of the most dark and demented twisted people you that could be imaginable grossest people that could be imaginable his outside persona was so bright he was actually awarded as a good it was an award i'm gonna explain check this out here he's getting an award uh it was july 13th 2022 he was presented with the funan good man award and the reason that he was presented this award is as follows. Martyr's photo returned to family. While browsing in a secondhand bookstore online in October, Shu, 27 at the time, came across a photo and a certificate of Chinese people's volunteers, martyrs, that was killed in action. He's quoted saying, The moment I saw the record and attached photo, I decided to return it to his family. So this goes and it talks about the story. I don't want to say the other people's names and I don't want to say... Uh, the uh who the martyr was i just feel like they don't have anything to do with this man's terrible actions and there's no need to bring them into this if him being awarded for being such a great citizen wasn't weird enough his name uh shu in chinese means a uh, brilliant rising sun so again the blender video itself the one that went around on twitter was not the video that got him arrested he was actually uh arrested for uh the one where he tied the cat to the tree and those acts where he posted it in the QQ group. Not to mention the fact that he advertised going around collecting, aka stealing cats. 
One poor woman who alleged she was the neighbor of Shu said that he poisoned a mother cat she had. And as a result, all her babies died from drinking her milk. So like I said, he wasn't arrested for the blender video, but here's what the police report said. April 26, 2023, the Xingbi police station of our bureau received a call from a group of people saying that a cat had been stolen and the cat thief, Shu Shigui, had been found and they asked police for help. The police station dispatched the police in time and launched an investigation. It is now found on March 15th, Shu Shigui, male, 29 years old, hurt cats in a small forest in Lushing Town and made short videos to share in the QQ group. After spreading through the internet, it was condemned by netizens and animal protection activists, causing bad social impact according to the relevant provisions of the Public Security Management Punishment Law. They detained Shu in accordance with that law. One of the craziest things about that was he wasn't detained because of what he did and what this group is doing to these cats. He was detained only because it caused public outcry, only because it made uh, China look bad. Xu's actions are regarded as negatively impacting society and he currently is detained in Funan in accordance with the Public Security Administration punishment law. His Billy Billy account currently also displays a message that is getting banned. Although there are various laws in China regarding wildlife and the protection of animals, there currently is no national law that is explicitly against animal cruelty for all animals. Some legal bloggers explored under which laws Shu could be punished for his actions other than the uh, hurting of the animals itself, such as stealing a cat and also uploading such material to the internet. Jesus Christ, it's pretty crazy to me that China doesn't have any laws that are uh, against this type of behavior. And there's lawyers debating whether or not the dude should be punished or not. Says recently a certain blogger named Shu Shigui, a uh, net named Jack Spicy, was caught making videos hurting cats and uploading them to the internet for sale. He has been detained by the police security organs, so is animal cruelty illegal, especially for stray cats and stray dogs without owners. Lawyers say that cruelty to stray cats and dogs without owners may not be punished. One user saying animal cruelty has formed an industrial chain and spread to junior high school students and primary school students. If the future students of our country don't respect life so much, then we will be the ones who will suffer the backlash and there will be more murderers who will attack children, the elderly, and women. Just by reading the comments, it's super obvious to me that the Chinese people want legislation. They want laws in place to stop this kind of stuff. And you mean to tell me that whole cult groups of people like treading your streets, stealing people's pets and just doing this type of thing is not a bother, but only if it causes public outcry? Is it that what you mean by negatively impacting society? This is super obvious to me that Shu probably would not have got in trouble if people did not raise awareness and create a public outcry about this, which goes in hand in hand why it's important to raise awareness on these types of topics. Like I said earlier, the QQ group that Shu is alleged to lead is declaring war on the police. All of this to be said, Shu actually released an apology like that what could do anything and it's super obvious that he only did that because he was losing followers says i am jack spicy shu shugui i am very ashamed remorseful and sorry for my behavior of hurting cats and making videos grafting online cat videos and sharing them in qq groups after the video was disseminated on the internet the public security organs or police and other internet information departments have severely criticized and educated me and launched an investigation of accountability i sincerely accept the supervision and condemnation of netizens and the criticism and education of society i am willing to bear all consequences of this bad behavior from now on i will take this as a warning abide by public morality, improve my personality, and cherish the lives of animals as much as my own. I know that I have repented and repented. Please give me a chance. I will give you no chances, sir. You didn't give any of those animals any chances. And it's so obvious that you're only even saying this much because you got caught and you're losing followers. Not to mention his main video platform banned him. And it's obvious by the comments under his videos that his fans 
are really hurt. I'm so disappointed in you. This is no longer a simple mistake. This is perverted. You are so damned. You deserve it. I'm really disappointed. As long as it's your work, I always see it three times in a row. I'm really happy for you when I saw you filming the rooftop series by yourself and getting married and having children. I like your work because I feel like it. You seem sincere and kind and full of sense of justice. Now it just seems that the labels I put on you are ironic. People should be responsible for their own words and deeds. What's more, you have hurt countless innocent little lives and are proud of it as a father of a little girl. In the future, I will accumulate virtue for myself and my children. I don't think that your little girl would want her father to be such a person. I've been a fan of you for several years. I've watched almost every video seriously. I never thought you were like this behind the scenes. I really liked the videos you made. I didn't expect the other side of you to be so unbearable. Do you smell the blood on your hands when you eat? And it's currently being alleged that as soon as he was released from jail, he organized a live stream video with his group hurting another cat. It says internet celebrity blogger Jack Spicy, who was recently detained by the local police in accordance with the law for uh, execution style cat videos and shooting short video transmission, is suspected of organizing a live broadcast again after being released after his detention and this is backed up in the qq group where some users are seen to be saying first cat in blender and now cat sliced in body i'm so sad it's also important to note that in the pictures it does show tools that seem very uh, similar to the ones that he used in his food videos as well this is one of the most terrible videos that i've personally ever had to make uh Obviously, I like cats. You can see that I have cat imagery everywhere. Um, so was, when I first heard about this, I was like, man, I'm not covering that. And then as I looked into the details of it, I was like, I have to cover this. This is something that needs to be talked about. Um, public outcry is at times the only thing we can do, especially in these other countries. We need to make uh, as much uh, of a commotion as we can. That way it leads to real reformation and maybe we can help uh, in some way get the Chinese legislation to push through laws that make this stuff illegal, at least so these type of people uh, will stop doing this in the capacity that they are. I think that's the best thing that we can do. Also, I appreciate you guys for watching this video with me. If you did make it this far, I appreciate it. Thank you for engaging. Engaging with the video, liking, commenting, uh, subscribing. All that engagement helps promote this video out to more people. So if you are doing that, I appreciate that. Um, that being said, as interesting as this video is, there is always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go leave your creative and interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. And as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. As always, thank you to my patrons. If you guys want to help support what I do and to keep calling out these terrible people and get your name at the end of my videos, then uh, the patron link will be in the pinned comment. Check it out, see if it's something for you. Uh, we're almost at 60 patrons. I'm really excited. I think we're like 59. So will you be the 60th patron? Let me know. Also, additionally, we've been running a charity all year to help children in DV situations. It's to the right on desktop below on mobile if you've donated to that i appreciate it. we met the goal we're over a thousand now um pushing it to five thousand and the last thing for me to say is i'm officially launching my new merch which i'm wearing it right now as you can see it says repzilla here and on the back it is greg the cat who passed away last year now um i didn't wait for this video to be about cats to promote this it just so happens that um i've been working on this for a close to three three weeks to a month now if not longer and uh it's just time to announce it um i will be announcing it in several videos but if you're interested in getting one of these shirts uh, there's portions of it going to charity i'll have more information about that uh closer to the launch but uh there in the pinned comment there's going to be a, a sign up list if you guys want one of these shirts um go ahead and sign up for it this is the back of the shirt it's the image it's uh greg as he got his little angel ring there and it says missing you on the side of the law of success book so again in the pinned comment there'll be a link if you want to put yourself on the list to get one of these shirts uh go ahead and do that a portion of each cell will go to cancer research for animals it's a cause that i really wanted to uh support since greg my cat passed away 
of a progressive form of cancer and seemed like they had no idea uh, what it really was. So uh, sign up for that if you want. And uh, that's just another way to show that you're ripping. If you're not ripping, you're getting how to do that. Go subscribe, notification, turn on, be in the comment section of every single video because I'm going to be there. Greg the Cat's going to be there in spirit and the rest of the Red Sox community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you.